Hey everyone, Joe Robert here again with another print on demand uh, video. We're gonna be looking at a store today. This store is, is doing print on demand perfectly. For me, I believe print on demand is about choosing a passionate niche and then picking a product that makes sense for the niche or a product that's not too saturated and then creating a design uh, that is truly unique. Those three things, in my opinion, are the three pillars to a successful print on demand store. If you guys wanna go through my mini course where I go into depth on those three pillars and the unique strategies that I have used and the, those that I have taught uh, to others, at this point, clients of mine have made about $5 million in sales following these strategies. Like I said, I have the POD Ninjas mini course. The link uh, to the POD Ninjas Facebook group is in the description of this video. You guys can go join. You can check out the mini course and you can learn uh, about how to actually create print on demand products that can sell. But like I said, today we're taking a look uh, at this store right here. This is actually not the store. This is the Facebook ads library where you can basically go and you can spy on other stores. So we're going to spy on all the ads that this store is running uh, today. Let me just click into the store here uh, and I can just show you exactly what we're getting into. This store is called wanderprints.com. They have something for everybody here. They truly have created uh, some really, really amazing stuff. I think this store uh, is likely doing a very nice job in in terms of sales that it is generating. It is selling uh, in a whole bunch of different niches. It's not really doing anything that is too broad. A lot of times I review print on demand stores that are submitted inside of the POD Ninjas Facebook group and people are just selling products uh, that don't really represent a specific niche. This store here, like I said, has done a fantastic job at not only choosing niches, but uh, choosing great products and making really great designs. So let's jump in. The first thing uh, that I wanna draw your attention to actually has nothing to do with everything I already just talked about regarding niches, products, and designs. But just look at these ads. Uh, there's three ads here that you can see on the screen. They have done a great job at making like great ad creatives. So many times people build out uh, a, a an ad that they, they just simply choose like a random mock-up it's just super plain it doesn't look good like they've actually uh, on some of these ads here on the right they've actually like shown a close-up of like what the actual product looks like they talk about how you can customize the front and the back they've even given it a background they've created an actual great looking ad creative here and likely there are a lot of people that are clicking these and you can see if we scroll through and I just show you some of these other products that they're promoting right now not only are the designs great and the niche is great and the product choice is great but just look at how well uh, they have done in terms of actually creating a great looking ad to show to people Facebook ads have one job when you are running ads the goal of that ad is to get people to click it if nobody's clicking it it's not doing its job so this store, like I said, has done a fantastic job. I'll show you some more here. Literally every single one of these ad creatives is exceptionally uh, good. It's They're very good. They look awesome. Not only just the mug ones, but the canvas ones as well. You can see as we continue to scroll through, uh, there is just tons of stuff here that they have done a fantastic job with. So let's uh, take a look at this product here. This is one of the ones up at the top of the ads library. And we'll just talk a little bit about what they are actually doing here, right? So this store, uh, this product here uh, is is a obviously a product for someone uh, who is a hippie, right? It's in the it's in the title, right? Hippie bestie, right? You're you're basically they're basically selling this mug uh, and allowing somebody to customize it, right? I recently made a video here in the channel where I went through a lot of the different steps that you need to take when it comes to actually setting something like this up. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, it's this video right here uh, where I talk about how something like this uh, is actually set up uh, on the store because it's not as complicated as you you think the hard part is actually creating this design right this this is very nice this is uh, something that someone who's a talented artist has created uh, but actually setting it up from a technical perspective is actually not that difficult now uh, this is a very very cool a very cool design like I said as we scroll through uh, the the ads library for them they basically have repeated this sort of thing over and over again, right? Here is a tumbler here uh, where someone can customize uh, the van on uh, the on the uh, on the on the or not the van, but the camper, the RV on the tumbler uh, as well as the man and the woman's skin tone. Now, I actually just clicked into uh, the camping 
collection here because I wanted to see what else they had uh, on here for this niche. And you can see uh, that they have just kind of gone all in on creating these like really cool uh, products, right? A lot of them are personalized too. You can check out uh, this camping flag right here, right? This is uh, something that they're selling for $27.95. I know that uh, Pillow Profits has this product and I believe it's under $10. I believe it's like $7 or something like that. So I'm sure they're making some pretty good margin here. If you increase the size of the flag, you can you can get uh, one for a little bit more expensive. This this store is doing a fantastic job. They're creating products for really passionate niches. They're choosing unique products that make good profit margin, and then they're making awesome designs. Come back into the ads library here. We literally have so many different niches uh, covered here uh, by this store as well. We have uh, this one here, right? I'm the captain. Uh, this is sort of someone who likes to who likes to go on uh, boats, right? We have uh, mermaids, right? We have some sea turtles. Uh, we have some best friend type stuff with a little bit of a beach slash uh, surfing theme, right? Continue to scroll through here. Life is better on the farm. Let's click into that one real quick and see see if we can take a closer look uh, at it, right? So. Pretty cool design, right? It says life is better on the farm, uh, and then it allows the buy, the person to actually customize the name. They can also change uh, what animals are going to be shown uh, on here. Let's say that I wanted to do the Roberts uh, farm, right? And then I wanted to select uh, pig. I can click preview, and it's going to come up like that. That's pre that's pretty that's pretty cool, right? Um, the Roberts the Roberts farm, right? I should have just wrote Joe Roberts uh, POD farm. Right? How's that? Joe Roberts POD farm with the pigs. I like that. In the ads manager, you can see other things uh, here. Uh, we got a, a product uh, for someone who loves to read books uh, right there. Uh, we have some people who like to, to go in the pool. Uh, here's a lake house, right? I've seen uh, a lot of people attempting to sell uh, decor, right? Have you ever seen someone in a Facebook group or, or someone like in a YouTube comment or something like that that says like, oh, I want to sell home decor, right? A lot of times what I recommend to that person is don't just sell, like don't view, like your niche is not a product type. Your, your niche is what you're representing with your design, right? If you want to sell decor, make sure it has a specific niche attached to it, right? Let's say that you are going to sell decor, right? This is an awesome example. Think about how many different products you could create that would go in the house that would be classified as home decor, but it would be for the lake life niche. I actually just searched uh, lake life here on the Wanderprint store uh, and we got 51 results, right? If we scroll through, you know, we have a lot of different uh, signs and canvases, right? We'll probably see uh, some mugs at some point. I'm not going to click through every page here uh, but you get the point right is they've basically taken the niche and represented it with these awesome designs right like if you're someone who who wants to sell print-on-demand pillows like don't just create an abstract design like a pattern or something like that and throw it on the pillow like actually choose a niche and then create a really cool product for that niche another thing to think about is uh, what products does your niche actually want to buy right a lot of times people, you know, and I'm, I know I'm showing you this, right? Like these are these are poker products. These are super cool. But this is a great example of what I always talk about not to do, right? Let me click into this real, real quick right here, right? Uh, this is a, a doormat, right? Actually, let me go back. Um, there's probably a better one that I can, that I can pick for uh, this example, right? So many people start print on demand and they say, hey, you know what? I wanna jump into print on demand. I got a great niche that I, that I think is awesome and I'm gonna make some really cool t-shirt designs. And I, and I give this example because recently I was I was talking to a client who wanted to jump in uh, to, to print on demand and they were going to be creating t-shirts for uh, people who love to play poker. And I said to them, well, why don't you create something that's not as saturated and something that when they see it, they're going to view it in a much different way. And what we talked about is actually creating stuff like this, right? I was actually showing them uh, the stuff that Wander Prince has here on their store. And I was showing them that when you do something like this, right? You're, you're, you're creating something that they're now going to view as something that they have a use for. Right, someone who really likes poker uh, is going to see this much differently than some, than if you were going to show them a T-shirt that had like a similar quote on it. Right, it says on there, if you can't bluff, fold. It's your turn to deal. Right, if you're going to create a T-shirt with something like that on it, 
uh, you might not be successful, right? But this is a lot more unique. It also allows someone to customize uh, their name on it, right? This is a much better strategy here. And this store, like I said, is doing print on demand perfectly. Like I said, it is wanderprints.com. I will put uh, the link to this down in the description of the video or in the comments or something. So that way you guys can check through uh, yourself. But like I said, here in the ads library all day long, you can scroll through here and they are just running tons and tons and tons of different ads to these niche specific products and likely absolutely crushing it, right? This is this is one of the nicest stores that I've seen in a long time, both in terms of the way that the store actually looks, but also in terms of the quality uh, of the designs, right? One thing that I kind of want to address here as we're looking through these is if you're a beginner, right? Let's just say that you're someone that's jumping into print on demand, right? Think to yourself, like, do you actually have, right? Let's just click into this one real quick. Do you actually have the graphic design skill to create something like this, right? Most people that are jumping into print on demand don't have a background in design, right? They don't have experience uh, actually creating things within a graphic design software. They don't have experience with drawing or painting or anything like that. They've never really done anything creative in their life. And, it, and that's going to make it really difficult, right? Even if you figure out how to use a graphic design software, it's going to be tough for you to actually have that eye right because things like this these are not just like things that you download and piece together like a design like this is something that you actually create from scratch a lot of people say hey guys where where should i find my designs like you don't find designs you you either make them yourself or you have them created i have other videos on my channel where i talk about how you can actually go about uh, hiring a graphic designer and like i said at the beginning of this video when i talked about the pod ninjas mini course i have a whole bunch of other resources inside of the pod ninjas facebook group uh, where you can go and you can find out more about actually hiring uh, print on demand designers to make you stuff that can actually sell because like i said if you're someone that's just jumping into print on demand, designs might be something that you struggle with a little bit. And this right here uh, will be will be the product, the last product that we look at and the one that we close out uh, the video with, right? I have a video on my channel uh, where I talk about how I think that pets, uh, specifically dogs and cats, are the most saturated niche that you could potentially uh, go into. Think about all the people right now, right? If you, if you are a member of the POD Ninjas Facebook group, you likely see a lot of people that are sharing designs on a regular basis, showing that they are planning to sell to people who like dogs or people who like cats and they're creating uh, these silly t-shirts and, and honestly I don't blame them because there's some other youtubers that make videos showing them creating silly t-shirts with dogs on them riding on surfboards and things like that so I don't blame them however this store is truly taking the pet niche to the next level, right? I know that there's stuff like crownpaw.com nowadays that is creating these really fancy canvases with pet uh, portraits and things like that, but something like this is, is truly unique, right? This is uh, a doormat for the front of someone's house, right? And going, going along with like product selection, right? I have a strategy called strategic product selection. And one of the things that, that we look at when it comes to that strategy is what is our, our demographic? What is our target demographic? Who are they by age and by gender? And then what are they going to do with this product, right? What, what type of product can we select that's going to allow them to showcase their love for the niche, right? And what better product than a doormat for, for this niche, right? Someone, someone who loves their dogs, someone who is truly passionate about dogs is going to be able to put this at their front door. So that way, every single person who comes to their house is going to see this, right? This is the perfect type of print on demand product because it allows them to almost wear the niche uh, as a trophy, right? As a badge of honor, right? It's a perfect product for print on demand because it sits at the front uh, of somebody's house and allows them to showcase their niche uh, that they love and, you know, it's it's fully customizable, right? Like we could do three dogs here. Uh, we could do first dogs breed. I don't really know what this is. Oh, this is, th these are alphabetical so that way we can choose the dogs, right? So let's say that we wanted to do a pug Right, we can do choose first dog's breed, select the P, uh, and then we gotta find a pug. I'm not seeing a pug here. Anybody else see the pug? I'm, I'm assuming I'm doing this right. Choose first dog's breed, P for pug. Either way, it's not, not important. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. But it's th this is the point, right? Is that this store is doing a fantastic job. They are choosing passionate niches, choosing profitable products, and making great 
designs. And if you are someone who is just getting started with print on demand and you feel like what you're doing is not similar to this, maybe you're creating an abstract brand uh, based on patterns and different things like that on products, or maybe you even created uh, your own logo and you're trying to create a clothing line, like don't don't do that. That's going to be very difficult for you, right? If you if you are just doing this as a hobby or something fun then, and you don't mind, you know, spending, you know, a little bit of money and, and potentially wasting it, that's fine. But if you want to create an actual side hustle with, with print on demand, you need to take things to the next level, especially around with what you are actually creating for products, right? And that's why I've referenced a few times the mini course that I have. It's a free mini course inside of the POD Ninjas Facebook group where I walk you through uh, what I think are the three pillars to a successful print on demand business. I talk about my strategy called the niche multiplier method. I talk about strategic product selection and undercover design hacking, which is a strategy that I teach clients to use to steal best selling design ideas and make them uh, their own. Like I said, all that information is inside of the POD Ninjas Facebook group. You guys can go there, you can join, you can check it out. Uh, it's right there inside the group uh, completely free for you. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, drop a like on it and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.